This is Diana from BTS. Welcome to everybody. BTS P-Walk is a system composed by one or more pressure platforms. It's the ideal solution to evaluate pathologies related to the balance or to the gait disorders. Because the acquisition doesn't require any subject preparation, BTSP Walk allows to make a very quick analysis. It requires short time from the acquisition up to the final clinical report. By the automatic report that includes also the comparison of all analysis parameters with some normative data, BTSP Walk is useful for a wide range of application, prevention, diagnosis, and follow-up of um, rehabilitative or pharmacological treatments. Let's start to understand how we can use BTSP Walk when we have the configuration with only one single platform. With the single platform, it's possible to perform both static and dynamic analysis. Today, during this first webinar about the PWOC, because I have here with me only one platform, I would like to explain to you during the practical session how to perform a stabilometric analysis and later how to analyze the results. I have already thought to plan other two webinars about PWOC, one on next month to explain how it's possible to use the single platform to evaluate the walking, and another one how to evaluate the walking with the configuration of multiple platforms. A stabilometric analysis allows the evaluation of the subject balance by measuring the COP position, I mean the position of the center of pressure on the platform, and of course its displacement during the static acquisition. At the same time, I can evaluate the plantar pressure distribution while the patient is in a standing position. So, how can we perform this static analysis? It's very simple because the patient is asked to stay on the platform to fix one point in front of him for 20, 40 or 60 seconds trying to don't move. I start to show now some windows of the software that you will see later after the acquisition in order to give you an idea about what you can assess by stabilometric analysis. Of course, you can display the movement of the body bar center, but also you can distinguish the displacements of the body center of each foot. It's important to assess which is the maximum value of pressure recorded under the foot surface, which is its average value on the foot surface, how is large the contact area between the feet and the ground, the platform of course, and how much body weight the patient is loading on each side. In order to understand which are the areas with higher or lower values of pressure, a colored scale is used. While the pressure values increase, the color changes from blue to red, passing through green and yellow to identify the areas with pressure values in the middle between the highest and the lowest ones. The point with the maximum pressure is shown by the red circle. The circle between the feet represents the body center of the body. 